welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday, January 29th, and today I'm going to be filming a vlog. So, first things first, I have not recorded a vlog in well over a week because I have been sick as a dog. I have been struggling with this bad cold for 11 or 12 days now. I am stuffy. I am hacking up all of this stuff and it has been miserable. Thankfully, I am on some medicine. I feel like maybe we're on the upswing of this sickness, but it's been a struggle, but the show must go on. So here I am. We are vlogging today. This morning has been a wee bit of a stressful one. First off, we were in Baytown for the past week taking care of my brother while my parents were in Costa Rica. We got back last night and this morning I woke up. Cooper was throwing up, I don't know why. And then I kept getting emails and calls and texts and there was someone trying to hack into one of my social media accounts. And that was very, very stressful because that is something you do not want to happen. So I have been currently trying to secure all of my accounts and I'm just kind of over it and it is only 9.30 this morning. It's time for me to go jump in the shower because I look like a greasy grease ball and I've got to get the dogs fed and we need to take our medicine. So let's get today started. I've rambled on for way too long. Let's do this. Of course, the first step to my day is getting the pepperonis fed. They have a little bit of bone broth and some canned pure pumpkin in their food just so they eat it and not just sit there and look at it. So there y'all go. There's y'all breakfast. Are you not going to eat your breakfast? Cooper has decided he only wants his brother's food um, and he's on a hunger strike. So there's that. Went ahead and pulled out some frozen steaks so they have time to thaw for dinner tonight. These are some Wagyu beef New York strips, so they're very high marbled steaks, and hopefully they taste good. I just have them sitting in some water and just letting them slowly begin to thaw out. This is what happens every time I try and blow dry my hair. He stands behind me and attacks the blow dryer the entire time I am blow drying my hair. You are crazy, boy. You are crazy, but you're so cute. Look at those big old bug eyes. Pouring myself a strong cup of coffee this morning because I am going to need it. Turns out I don't have any heavy cream, so I'm just going to have some black coffee with a little bit of stevia. Buckle up, y'all, because it is just going to be one of those days I can already feel it. It is pouring down rain outside currently, and Cooper needed to go potty. He didn't want to go get in the wet grass. So he came in and proceeded to poop on my carpet. Yay, so much fun. And then I made myself a cup of coffee and we're out of heavy cream. So I'm having a black cup of sadness for breakfast. And then I just realized that I left my camera battery charger in Texas. Great, so now I don't have any way to charge my camera batteries. So there's that. We'll face that battle in a couple hours when uh, I need to charge this battery. So I'm gonna grab my cup of sadness and go sit in front of my computer, answer some emails, get caught up on my schedule, all of the things that have just kind of gone a little bit crazy when I have been out of town and sick for the past week. Two hours later. Got my life organized for the most part. However, there is some really big changes that are about to happen in our life right now. So stay tuned in the next day or two. I will probably go into a lot of details about those because let me tell you what, there are some things about to change around here. So there's that, a really vague up in the air type of thing, but I'll tell you in a day or two once I have confirmation. So anyways, like I was saying, got some stuff organized and now 
We are going to do the dishes. I cleaned out the refrigerator last night. I had a ton of leftovers that sat in the fridge all week. So, time to get those all cleaned up. Get the kitchen nice and tidy because it just makes me feel a lot more zen. So let's do this. currently 2 21 p.m. so the past hour and a half or so I have just been busy 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 I had a phone call to make I talked to my dad I made my grocery list so I can go to the grocery store here shortly and pick up all of the things I need for the next day or two but first things first I've got to take the pups out to potty then I'm gonna go by the front office and turn in my notice that we're going to be vacating in 30 days and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store just pulled up to Win Dixie time to head inside and grab some groceries I just got home from the grocery store I thought I'd do a quick little haul of everything I picked up I didn't get that much stuff because it is Wednesday and I really don't know what our plans are for the weekend so I just picked up a couple of things to have over the next couple of days so let's start over here we got some aluminum foil some of these mini sweet peppers some mushrooms to go with our steak this evening Brussels sprouts shallots this mayo was buy one get one free so we needed some of that pick that up some lunch meat for cody to have some sandwiches a thing of heavy cream shredded mozzarella cheese swiss cheese some breakfast sausage i have a couple of different things i plan on doing with this i have some large flour tortillas because i plan on meal prepping some breakfast burritos for cody so that he can have these in the morning before work so he's not tempted to go eat out anywhere so i got him this i picked up some more eggs because we only had a dozen left so yeah, that is my grocery haul. I don't even think it's like a complete grocery haul. I'm probably going to have to go back, but it is what it is. Well, we got some groceries, at least for today. We'll figure out tomorrow. Tomorrow. So <laughs> here we go. Grocery haul. I have come to the realization that it is now uh, 3.49 p.m. And I have eaten nothing today the only thing i've put in my belly is that cup of black coffee this morning so technically i'm sitting at like zero calories eaten for the day and it's like four o'clock this sickness that i've been having like the drainage running down my throat the coughing the sneezing it's just making me where i really don't want to eat but i know i need to eat because i'm feeling a little bit weak so I'm about to force myself to eat some lunch, dinner, lunch dinner, I don't know. First meal of the day, although it's going to be after four when I eat this. But I'm going to make myself some zoodles. So let me show you what I'm doing. What I have here is a zucchini and I'm going to use my little spiralizer and make that into my noodles. I have some of this Rayo's home style Italian sausage and mushroom sauce to use as my pasta sauce. And then I have some of these Italian style frozen meatballs. For six meatballs, there is four grams of carbs. So I know making my own meatballs would be a lot better, but this is a quick and easy option that I can just heat up really quickly and throw into my zoodle pasta. So now I'm going to attempt to find my spiralizer, which is somewhere in one of these cabinets, and then we're gonna get to cooking. I cut the ends off of my zucchini and now I'm just going to put it into my spiralizer. I bought this on Amazon. I'll link it down below in case you're wondering where I got it. But yeah, you just stick it in. If you want either thick or thin noodles, we're gonna do thin today. And just start twisting and you get zoodles. Quick and easy. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than this. I have some of my pasta sauce. I'm just gonna pour that into the bottom of my pan. Go ahead 
going to let that heat up for a minute or two. Now I'm going to throw in my six meatballs. Let everything get nice and heated up. Now we're just going to toss in our zoodles and let them cook for a very short amount of time. It only takes like three to four minutes for the pasta to become tender. So you can just go ahead and mix that all up together. I'm going to add in a little bit of this all-purpose seasoning. And basically just let it cook until everything is tender and our lunch will be ready. I was able to throw this zoodle spaghetti together in about five minutes. So this is a really quick and easy meal to throw together if you're in a pinch. So I'm just going to add a little bit of shredded Parmesan over the top. And voila! We got us our first meal of the day at 4.02 p.m. That is blurry. There we go. Yep. So I'm going to go dig in, eat some of this, and actually put something in my belly. While we were in Texas, I booked us a fishing trip so Cody could do some Texas fishing. And we got us some fish. So I just went ahead and bagged all this up. And I'm about to pop it in the freezer. So when you catch fresh fish like this, it's best to freeze it in water. Because it'll just keep those fillets fresh. And it won't get freezer burnt. This is just a bag of assorted fillets. That This will be really good for a fish fry that we have one day. So that we can just cut that up and fry it. And then we got some flounder. And flounder is a very good eating fish. As you can see, we have it butterfly where the fillets kind of roll open on each side and you stuff it with like boudin or crab or something and it is so so good so i'm about to pop all of this in the freezer let that freeze and we will have some fish for another day it has been a little while since i checked in with y'all i just was not feeling very good earlier i still don't feel great but i feel better than i did it is currently 6.50 and I'm about to get started on dinner. So I thought we'll go over there and let me show you what we're making. Here's a little rundown of my plan for dinner. So earlier y'all saw that I thawed out these steaks. So we have those for dinner. And then to go with the steaks, I am going to make a mushroom cream sauce. I tried this a couple of weeks ago to see how it would turn out. And oh my golly, y'all, it was so good. So it's going to be mushrooms and shallots and heavy cream and some Worcestershire sauce. I still can't say it, y'all. But we will get to that in a minute. And then I'm also going to do some of these sweet peppers stuffed with a little bit of cream cheese and wrapped in bacon. I think I'm going to go ahead and get started with the peppers first because that's going to take the longest to cook. So let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 400 like so. And yeah, let's get started. I went ahead and rinsed off my peppers and then cut them in half and removed any of the seeds that are inside. These peppers really have very few seeds so it takes just a couple minutes to get them all halved and ready to be filled. I got myself a block of cream cheese and I'm just going to slice off little rectangles I guess you could say and just place them right in the middle of the peppers. I'm not really stuffing them more so just putting some of the cream cheese on top. It just makes it go by a lot quicker. The peppers are stuffed with cream cheese. I am going to sprinkle a little bit of this Old Bay garlic and herb seasoning over the top just to give it a little bit of flavor. So just going to sprinkle that. Now that I've seasoned up my peppers, I just grabbed some bacon. This is a package of bacon I bought earlier. And I cut some of the bacon into thirds and some of it into halves in case some of these pieces are bigger. But since a lot of these peppers are pretty small, I'm just going to take my third of a slice of bacon and just wrap that around the pepper like so. And I'm going to set it next to me on a cookie sheet.
The peppers are all wrapped in bacon, nice and neat. And the final step is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder over the top. And then we're going to pop these bad boys in the oven for, I'm guessing, 20 to 25 minutes or until the bacon is crispy. I have them cooking on this wire rack just so that the bacon gets crispy all the way around. To go on top of the steaks, instead of just the normal sauteed mushrooms, I'm going to make this creamy mushroom sauce that is fabulous over the top of steaks. So first things first is we're just gonna throw in some butter into a hot skillet and let that melt down. Now that the butter's nice and melted, I just chopped up one shallot and we're gonna go ahead and add that into the butter. And now we're gonna cook this shallot until it's translucent. Throw in a little bit of minced garlic as well. The shallots are cooking down, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my mushrooms. I just rinsed all of these off, but this is just a big package of baby Bella mushrooms. Cody loves mushrooms on his steaks, like he would eat this entire batch, which is why I made a huge batch. So now we're just gonna let this cook down for a couple of minutes. I'm also going to add in two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, just a little bit in there. And we're just going to let this baby cook on down. The mushrooms are cooking and I've got my cute little cocker spaniel sitting here supervising, making sure everything's okay. Right guys? Yeah, yeah they're just the sweetest boys. I've got a really great quality control team here, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it, but these mushrooms are like perfectly caramelized. Oh my golly, these look so good. But the next step is I'm gonna turn down my heat slightly, maybe like a low medium heat. And what I'm going to do is add in one half of a cup of heavy cream and burn myself on the pan because that's what I just did. We're gonna pour that in there over those mushrooms. And this is going to make a creamy, decadent sauce with all those juices that came out of the mushrooms. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're just gonna let this simmer for just a minute. Then we'll turn it off and that sauce will thicken up and it's gonna be so good over our steaks. I let this sauce simmer for maybe four to five minutes. And as you can see, it's still a little bit soupy looking. So what I did was I just turned off the heat and we're just gonna let it sit. And this sauce is gonna thicken up. I'm also about to add a little bit of salt and pepper into this and then it'll sit for a couple minutes and it'll be ready to go on top of our steaks. For the last year that we've lived at our apartment complex, we've complained about how awful their grills were well of course 30 days before we move out they have replaced them with these like amazing grills these bull grills they're so good we're so excited about it so we're gonna probably be grilling like every day for the rest of the month mm, very graceful way to throw those suckers on the grill eggs are on on the beautiful grill Oh, so exciting. Cody's checking them with a meat thermometer to see how cooked they are. That's a game changer. If you want to cook a perfect steak, you got to get you a meat thermometer. Ooh, la la. Going through these like butter, too. They're going to be really good. Can we take just a moment to appreciate this meal? Oh my golly, look at that mushroom sauce over the top of that delicious Wagyu steak with those peppers cooked to perfection. Y'all, I am ready to eat. I have not wanted to eat all day, but I'm ready for this. Cody and I just finished eating dinner and oh my golly y'all, that dinner was absolutely fabulous. Every single bite was so good. Cody and I just sat there and we're like, oh my God, this is so good as we shovel the food down our throats. So I have to tell y'all, you've got to try the mushroom sauce on top of the steaks. 
as well as those little stuffed sweet peppers. Oh my gosh, I left them in the oven to cook for about 40 minutes or so. I just let them sit in there and just get crispy and oh, so good. Probably some of the best peppers I have ever made. It was just so good. I just, you've got to try it, okay? I'm just telling you, so good. Oh, so good. <laughs> Look at this little baby just cuddling on the couch. Look at him. Is he not the cutest? Until he starts getting up and trying to bite me in a minute. But just look at him. Oh, don't open that mouth. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, crazy mode is on. You want to go potty? Cooper always goes for my arm fat underneath my arm. You were being so sweet, and now look at you. Now look at him. You're crazy. Hey guys, it is now the next morning, and I just wanted to hop on here to close out the video. So thankfully this morning, I'm feeling a heck of a lot better than I did yesterday. Yay. But I just wanted to say one more time how good dinner was last night, because it was, it was really good. So but I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye, guys. Mwah.